Let's talk about realistic price predictions for AVAX. So hey everyone, welcome back to Upside Down Data. Today I want to talk about AVAX and what prices might be realistic expectations if we are indeed at the beginning of a new bull run, like for example, what we saw back through here. What prices might be realistic for us to think that we could hit in that type of environment? And if you just look at it on your own, it's pretty hard to know. You can look at it, maybe you just could literally measure the move from here to here and say that's what we'll do again. But oftentimes that's not the case. Usually assets will not perform the same that they did in the past. We need some way to break through this and get an idea about what might be reasonable. So what I wanna talk about is a machine learning approach that I took to make these realistic price expectations and what those price predictions are. So the key insight that I relied on for this machine learning approach was basically to think what can we look at that has been related to AVAX's price in the past, and then can we project that forward and then use that to get an understanding or an idea about where AVAX might be heading in the future. And the main thing I'm gonna be relying on with this approach is the fact that AVAX, along with basically every other altcoin that's out there, tends to be heavily correlated with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two biggest assets in the crypto space, tend to be the barometers for the crypto market. They tend to lead the way, show the direction. And so basically there's a strong correlation between Bitcoin shown here in orange and Ethereum shown here in teal and the price of altcoins. And you can see this if we just compare them that as Bitcoin and Ethereum do well, then AVAX comes up and follows. As Bitcoin and Ethereum don't do so well, AVAX doesn't do so well as well, so on and so forth. So the idea is that I basically made a model, which I'm gonna throw up here now, where the inputs are the price of Bitcoin, the price of Ethereum, and then I also input time as being a third final factor. And basically it's using those inputs to then guess at what AVAX's price should be. Now, no model's perfect, and this one certainly isn't perfect, but it is pretty reasonable. And what it also does is, for example, shows you points where AVAX is quite undervalued relative to expectations, as well as overvalued relative to expectations, so those things tend to align. But overall, this gives us a good rough idea about what a reasonable price for AVAX should be, given some combination of Bitcoin price, Ethereum price, and wherever you are in time. So the reason that this is useful and why having one of these models is useful is we can basically then give it new inputs and say, what do you expect the price of AVAX to be given some price of Bitcoin, given some price of Ethereum and given some point in time. So just to give an example, we could just manually come up with some inputs and put them in there. So let's imagine we're in a bullish scenario here where early 2025, Bitcoin's up at 150,000 per Bitcoin, ETH is at 15,000, and that would correspond with a predicted AVAX price of uh, $300.69. So pretty nice move up from our current prices of AVAX at around $20. You can imagine other scenarios, let's say we're a little bit further out in time, Bitcoin's price is a little bit higher, ETH's price is a little bit lower, that would be a bit of a lower expected price, 267. And you can keep doing this. So late 2025, even more bullish prices for Bitcoin and ETH, even higher expected price of AVAX, and then a more bearish scenario down here. But this is not entirely convincing or really all that satisfying because I'm just randomly picking numbers here, right? I'm just randomly picking numbers and seeing what the outputs are. But as you can imagine with three different inputs, there are tons of different combinations you could check. And how do you know which one is more conducive to what we should think is realistic versus another one? How do we know if one combination is what we should pay attention to more than any other? So that's where I wanna get into the main meat of what I did here is that once I had this machine learning model that I built with those inputs going into it, then what I did is I did a series of simulations. And instead of just cherry picking specific Bitcoin prices, ETH prices, dates, and then seeing what the predicted output is, instead what I did is I chose ranges that seem realistic for the different inputs. So for example, for Bitcoin, I took a relatively bearish low point for a, a bull market. So basically it just getting back to its prior all-time high, but no higher. And then all the way up to what might be a pretty bullish possibility here. This is about a 5X above the prior all-time high. That's how I picked this value, 345K. So I have a range here of possible, I think most people would argue not completely unrealistic. I think most people would put their targets for Bitcoin's uh, peak in the bull market to be somewhere between here. And same thing with Ethereum, 4.8K to 28.8K. So this is the prior all-time high roughly to up about 6X of that. And then also a series of dates. 
And basically what I'm going to be doing in this is I'm going to be randomly sampling from those ranges. I'm just going to tell it randomly pick from somewhere in between here for Bitcoin's price, pick between here for ETH's price and pick a date between these two, uh, these two points. So basically mid 2024 to, to mid 2026, again, where if we're going to new bull market, people would have expected to peak somewhere in that time range. Just randomly pick ones and then show me what the prediction is. What's the predicted AVAX price given the whatever you randomly pick from these three. And then basically you're gonna record that and then do it again, do it again, do it again, 10,000 times. So this is a Monte Carlo type approach. So basically I don't know what the correct Bitcoin price is. I don't know what the correct ETH price is or the correct date. So what I'm gonna do is just randomly put in values and see what the average tends to be. What is the average expected predicted price based on a bunch of different simulations picking from these different ranges. So basically ranges that are realistic. Let's pick a bunch of them, do it 10,000 times, see what the predictions are and see where those distributions lay. Where is the average predicted price? Where is the median predicted price, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's what I did. And that these are the overall summary results and I'll show the distribution of predicted prices here in a minute. So basically the average predicted price for AVAX based on those you know reasonable, I think, ranges for Bitcoin, ETH and date, the mean predicted price is $408. So that's the average predicted price from all those 10,000 different simulations. And then the median price is a little under 350. So the reason I, I'm showing median in addition to mean is median. That's basically just the middle value. It tends to be, it's gonna be less affected by outliers. So if there's just some extreme bullish scenario or bearish scenario that's really twisting or pulling the mean, the median will be less affected by that. Means tend to be more affected by outliers medians less so so that just gives you this idea that whichever way you look at it somewhere between 350 and 400 is a reasonable expectation from those and then i also show here the minimum and the maximum just so you get a sense of the full range of the data so the minimum the absolute worst scenario would not be very much higher than the current price probably not all that realistic that's why it's the minimum it's not particularly likely same thing with the maximum 1600 1640 that's pretty high and that's probably pretty unrealistic as well. And so it's probably gonna be somewhere closer to the mean or the median, not these extreme values. And so here's the full distribution that we see across all of these. Here's the mean, here is the median. And basically what this is, is showing is that there are some extreme bullish scenarios that can happen that would push us all the way out to this tail here, but that would be a pretty extreme situation. And then really what we'd expect is something more in around this point, the mean and the median. And what I really like about this approach is that it's not relying on just any one piece of data on its own. It's not just relying on one combination of price of any of these inputs and time. It's really looking at across a whole bunch of different scenarios and looking at what the realistic expectation might be. And that is coming out to these values here. So what that means, if we take that 350 and 400, we just go back to the AVAX price chart. Let's just look at where that would take us from current levels. So we're currently trading at $20. If we were to rally from current levels up to, let's first look here at 350, that'd be right around here. That'd be a 1600% move to the upside. Pretty nice. I don't think anyone would complain about that. And then if we go all the way up here to 400, then that would be an 1800% move to the upside. So pretty nice indeed. And so what these are really suggesting is that even if it's not that, that the mean or the median, even if it's not the extreme bullish case, it still seems like AVAX clearing all time highs is pretty likely if Bitcoin and Ethereum and the rest of the crypto market is going in a more bullish direction as well. And it could easily clear it. And so basically the expectation is that it would not just clear its prior all time high, but easily clearing it, getting up to the 350 to 400 level. Again, very nice returns from here. So obviously none of that is financial advice. You should make your own opinions and make your own interpretations of the data. But I like this approach to get a realistic expectation of where an asset might go based on what we think might be realistic for, in this case, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and when uh, a top might end up being. And then we wouldn't necessarily be surprised. So if AVAX is ripping to the upside, it's not gonna be surprising if it clears prior all time highs, and we might expect it to actually have quite a bit more gas in the tank. Now, it wouldn't likely be a straight move to the upside to get there. There'd probably be a lot of volatility, like what we saw back here, for example, moving up, moving down, higher highs, higher lows, hopefully it's a healthy market structure. But that gives us a general idea of what is realistic, basically leveraging machine learning and simulations 
to give us that idea that we really can't get on our own. I like if you, all right, if you like the content or subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us on X. A lot of updates about our models and more over there.